Hi guys, so I've decided to finally conclude my theory with its grand finale called the theory of everything. So if you remember in the past two videos we've talked about the possibility of us killing the dragons ending up to be something bad and Abaddon to have something to do with it. You might want to check out the first two videos with both links in the description of this one. So now for the third and last part of the theory we must go back in time a lot more. These events happened way before the gods came to Theria and are the last evidence we have that the Elder Dragons can be defeated. We must go back to the ancient races of Tyria that previously fought the Elder Dragons and survived, which are the Dwarves, the Jotun, the Forgotten, the Seers and the Mursat. We know that back in this time the race of giants was extinct, with Giganticus Lupicus being the sole survivor of his race, only to be corrupted by Zaitan's influence. So in one of the last videos, someone said that the Elder Dragons, as a nature force, can't be good or bad. They simply fulfill their purpose to drain the magic from Tyria. So we know for certain that these dragons are defending Tyria from the greed of its races. The question we all make now is, are they doing it in the right way? Back in 10,000 before Exodus, we knew that one of the ancient races betrayed the other ones and refused to hide their magic in the Bloodstone and fled Tyria. That race was called the Mursat, high beings seen as gods by Sol de Alessio and his white mantle, which called them the Unseen Ones. We know that the Mursat aided Vizier Kilbram in the process of opening the Door of Kamali, ordered by Abaddon, which led to their extinction. Or maybe not. As we've seen in the HOT trailer, we've got new allies that are extremely alike to the Mursat race. So we might have some more clues in the upcoming expansion about this ancient race and their purposes. So my opinion on this is that I think the Mursat knew about the dragon's true purpose and avoided a conflict with them, so that Tyria could be preserved and their race wouldn't go extinct. In the theory of everything, the real problem is how to stop these dragons from killing us all without destroying them which would ultimately lead to the destruction of Tyria and our destruction as well. This kinda seems like a dead end. Well gentlemen, what if I told you it's not? What if I told you that might be a way to stop the dragons without destroying Tyria? So we all know that the dragons get fed by the magic in Tyria and that is their function so that the magic doesn't lead to the races of Tyria destroying everything using it. Let's see magic as money in our society. Sometimes we have to take the money from people so that their greed may stop and they stop waging war at each other about it. That is the Elder Dragon's purpose. The only problem is that they tend to destroy everything in order to fulfill their purpose and that needs to be stopped. So what if I told you that the secret to stop these dragons lies in one of the most annoying organizations in Tyria and is part of the storyline arc of the most magic consuming race of all our beloved world? Yes. The secret lies with the Inquest, the Azuran society who tries to rule the world. So for those of you who watched the first video, you know I'm always bringing up a map that I'm always speaking about. The map of the All, drawn by the Marganite Apostate. You can call it the map of the everything if you want to. You wanna know what else is made in the shape of the All? That's right, the Crucible of Eternity. And what happens in the Crucible of Eternity, you may ask? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to explain you. When you go in the Crucible of Eternity area in Mount Maelstorm, you get the chance to notice that this is in fact one of the most important inquest facilities. You also notice that there are six chambers around the big open space in the Crucible of Eternity, with each chamber having a point of interest with the name of each zone. For example, at the top you have the zone green and at the bottom you have zone blue. If you visit all these zones, you figure out that they all have different environments, from one to another. Also, please notice that the bottom zone is still under construction, and this is vital to the information I'm gonna give you. If you visit the center of the Crucible of Eternity, where the entrance of the dungeon lies, you will find a lake. Swim to the bottom of the lake, and then notice what is bursting through the rock, creating a huge beam. A ley line. Yes, that's right. The Inquest are using a ley line to conduct their research. But what are they actually doing there? They are using the dragon's magic that flow through those ley lines to recreate the dragon's power in each zone. And for what, you may ask. If you complete the COE dungeon, you will discover that the Inquists are actually working on something called the Subject Alpha, a humanoid that can use all dragon's powers. You may actually watch the names of his skills carefully to figure this out. What the Inquests are actually doing is trying to find a way to steal the dragon's magic into a living thing. And that may be the answer to everything we are looking for. So my theory of everything consists in we trying to find a way to seal the dragon's power, as Abaddon wanted to seal it in himself, and as the ancient races tried to seal it in the bloodstone, 
but instead of us trying to steal it in a random beast as the inquests are trying to do, we can steal them in higher entities like the pale tree for instance. That would grant us the guidance that we seek to move on from these calamities. Finding a way to stop the dragons without killing them and spreading the magic into Tyria again would definitely solve all our problems. This is the answer that I believe will be chosen by our internet for the grand finale of Guild Wars 2. So guys, this is my final theory and I hope it is correct because it shows that everything on Guild Wars 2 is connected to the main story. Abaddon, the Bloodstones, the Inquest, even Scarlet, everything had its purpose in the story and that's great. Also, I've gotta warn you about something. Please don't trust the Consortium. Please do not trust Evan Nashblade. And this was a hint to my next video. <laughs> so we've reached the end of this video series, guys. I'll continue to do videos talking about the lore and other stuff. So if you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I see you next time.